I was able to achieve an 100% win rate this week using just your free candles and acknowledging how it closes past those free candles. So to remind yourself of what the free candles are, there are your swing highs and swing lows. One, two, three. Second one has the lowest wick of them three. That becomes your swing low. And here, second one has the highest wick of the three candles. One, two, three. That becomes your swing high. Simple as, I have had previous videos talking about these three candles in the past. So if you guys are still confused as to what they are and how you would utilize them, please watch those previous videos. But for now, this is essentially how I was able to achieve a 100% win rate four out of four trades this week simply by acknowledging how the candles have closed past those swing highs and those swing lows so if we have a look at the first example over here what does price do in this current price segment if you break it down it's had a miniature sweep below here some people wouldn't consider this a sweep but if you don't consider this one then this one is definitely a sweep that is also a significant swing low but as you can see here we swept that swing low and on the daily time frame we've broken through this swing high. Three candles, swept the swing low, body closure past the swing high. That's a clear confluence that price is going to continue higher because of the body closures. They are the most important in determining what direction price is going to head to. Because you can see that weight closures are showing weakness at that key level in breaking past it, right? There's no strong intention for price to break past that key level. So hence why, because there's no strong intention in price breaking through a swing low, that is your first reason as to why you wouldn't expect for price to continue lower. And then your second and finalized reason is a break through a swing high with a body closure. That becomes your market structure break. Volume imbalance, price retraces back into and continues higher. Again, you have the old accumulation level to new distribution and that is where price also retraces to before it continues higher. So from here to here, that was just one market maker buy model, and this was your original consolidation. But look at how price closed past that original consolidation. This is your overall draw. Monday, body closure back within the range. You had a sweep on buy side liquidity. Look at that, that's a wick closure past that swing high. So what is it showing you? It is showing you that there's no intention for price to continue higher at this current time. There is weak momentum for price to do so. Hence why when you get this, you can anticipate for lower price action, right? This is where you would draw down to a lower time frame. And this lower time frame supports the idea. But remember, if you was anticipating for a retracement, where could price possibly retrace into? You need targets, right? So here, you have this imbalance or this re-delivered rebalance over here, which also overlaps with this bearish order block. That just becomes your old accumulation, new distribution level. So this really level rebalance and also this imbalance. They are your two most immediate targets that you can anticipate for price to retrace back into, mitigate any long orders before distributing it higher, in line with your bullish higher time frame direction. So those could be your possible targets. Dropping out onto lower time frame, you can see again, sweep above the high, market structure break to the downside. If you play price out to the next day, you had a market structure break to the upside. But the important thing here is, does it come into a higher time frame PD already? It doesn't. So this market structure break isn't going to be your highest probability market structure break. This one, it came into a higher time frame key level in the form of your buy side liquidity, your original consolidation, right? If this market structure break happened at this key level, such as this re-delivered rebalance or this higher time frame imbalance, then it would be a much more significant market structure break. But because it doesn't, you wouldn't necessarily look for a market reversal here. Yeah, it taps into this re-delivered rebalance. This is where you could potentially take a trade on the hourly time frame if you wanted to. Because if you draw your range, it is also within the 50% level. So this was a very solid trade. Stop loss possibly above there. And then take profit at the re-delivered rebalance because that is your most immediate target. Nice 1 to 1.5 hour trade. That is if you was entering on the hourly time frame. If you was going to enter on a 5 minute, because that was an entry on the hourly time frame, I wouldn't necessarily place much significant on what session timing I enter on. But usually, New York session is the one that I focus on the most. So if I was to place an entry on a 5 minute and drop down even further from the 1 hour to the 5 minute, this is where I would wait for price to finish London session and then go into New York. 
that is where I would look for my entries on the five minute. Right, but here, hourly time frame, hourly entry, perfectly fine. Even though it isn't in New York session. Playing price out. Right, so if I replay here, next hourly candle is your New York opening, 8 a.m. New York time. And you know that it comes into this re delivered rebalance in hindsight. But what does that look like on a five minute? That is the start of New York session. Get a sweep, another sweep. Very strong significance. But this one, the initial sweep didn't give you a market structure break. So that's fine. Next one, you have another sweep. This one gives you that market structure break to the downside. Now, you could have possibly had an entry here for a sell stop, right, to catch the market structure break. But that's not something I would do because price could go past that swing low, this one specifically, and have a wick closure, then continue higher. So I would rather wait for price to have a full body closure past that swing low to solidify that market reversal on the M5. Once it's given me that market reversal, I would wait for the retracement before looking to enter in. So if you keep playing price out, you can see here, it doesn't exactly give me that retracement and that's fine. And because it's tapped into my higher time frame discount array level now, I wouldn't necessarily be interested in trades anymore because at key higher time frame levels, this is where you would expect for reactions to happen. So again, because this is the discount rate, I would anticipate for some sort of a significant bullish reaction. And because this entire move over here isn't in line with your higher time frame direction, which is bullish, it becomes much more likely that a bullish reaction is going to take place. Hence why I would no longer be looking for trades once it's tapped into my high time frame key discount array level. And that's fine, that's a missed trade, but you got a direction right. And that's the important part. So, jumping back onto the Audi, you can see here, it's giving you that significant bullish reaction higher, right? This is coming into daily closure now. So if we go into the next day, what does price give you here? It's giving you a significant market structure break to the upside. Again, you had another sweep there. Market structure break, body closures past the swing high, wicks past the swing low. It's the same thing on a daily that we touched on at the start of this video. And because this happened within a higher time frame PD array in the form of this read delivered rebalance, Remember, this with your daily re-delivered rebalance, this market reversal becomes much more significant. So now we've realigned bullish, in line with your higher time frame bullish direction. Look what price does here. It comes back into this massive imbalance. This now becomes your next draw on liquidity. Dropping down onto 5 minute. Next candle is 8am New York time, which is the start of New York session. This is where you could look for an entry. Literally enter there. The best entries you will get is when the candle is going against your entry. That is going to ensure you with the best possible feel. So here, this bearish candle, don't be afraid by it. Enter when it's bearish, stop loss below there, take profit at this overall draw for a nice 2R trade. The reason being, you didn't necessarily get a market structure break or market structure shift here. But what did you get? You got a change in state of delivery. Full body closures with displacement past the open of your down candles. And the last confluence is that it happened off of a PD array, right? A higher time frame PD array with heavy displacement. So that is enough for me to determine a market reversal. Now, if you're not as experienced as that, wait for your market structure shift and your market structure breaks. But this is another form of market reversal you can have called a change in state of delivery. So here, price comes down into there, stop loss below there, take profit above here. It would tap you in. You possibly could have had a better entry. And look what you get there. Swing high. Body closure past that swing high. So now that becomes your market structure shift. Keep the price up. And as you can see there, it eventually hits your take profit. Resting trendline liquidity. But look at how it hits your take profit. Wicks. So you could possibly anticipate for lower price action after this. And that's exactly what you get there. But it's fine. Your trade hit for a nice 2R trade. So here, utilizing your free candles again. This is still within New York session. This is where you could drop down and look for that market reversal to go higher. As you can see here, that's exactly what you get. Again, it's the same thing. Down candles are supporting price to go higher with displacement off of a higher time frame key level in the form of this old low, right? Look at how it sweeps below that old low. And your extra confluence here is you have displacement, retraces back into this down candle, respects it, so it's respecting discount rates and disrespecting further premium rates. So here, you could have had, it, you could have had a trade here. Stop loss below there and possibly targeted these relatively equal highs over here. Another possible entry you could have here, when price retraces, stop loss below that swing low, 
this position, you could have went break even, and this is where you can start to scale in. And as you can see here, it hits your relatively equal high with ease. So that was literally how I was able to achieve a 100% win rate this week. All I was simply looking for was how price reacted when it came into either a swing high or a swing low. That's all you need. That will give you a higher time frame bias and also optimize your trade entries. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, take care and I will see you guys in the next one.